solve the rational equation, first thing we need to do is find the LCD. And the LCD for these two denominators would be x times x, 6x plus 7. Now we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. And that way, it's going to cancel out the two denominators completely. So it multiplies on the left and on the right. And then we do our canceling. So x and x are canceled on the left. And on the right side, 6x plus 7 go. And we're left with, on the left, 6x plus 7 equals, on the right side, just an x squared. At this point, we have to decide how we're going to solve for x. And notice that there's an x squared here. Because there's an x squared, we're not going to be able to just get all x's to one side of the equation and isolate the x. What we're going to need to do is use the x squared approach or the quadratic approach. And that means we're going to get it into what I call the equal zero format. All right, so get all your terms on one side of the equation equal to zero. So subtracting a 6x and a 7 on the left, we get x squared, take away 6x, take away 7, equals 0. Now, the equal 0 is on the left over here, but it's just the same to write it on the right side. And I'm used to seeing it there, so I'm just going to put it there. Now that we have everything equal to 0, we can go ahead and factor and then set our factors equal to 0 separately. And then we'll be able to solve for the x. So let's see, we need an x and an x in the front. And then we need 7 and 1. And they have to be opposite signs. And they have to sum up to the middle terms of minus 6. So we need x plus 1, x minus 7. And now if these two multiply together to give us a 0, it must be true that one of them is 0. So we can set each one equal to 0 separately and solve for the x that makes that happen, taking away a 1 on both sides. x is minus 1 is one solution. Adding 7 to both sides, x to 7 is our other solution. All right, so those are the solutions for the quadratic equation that we got from solving the rational equation up at the top there. Now, we always want to check our solutions, so let's make sure that they both work. So x equals negative 1 first in the original equation, which is 1 over x equals x over 6x plus 7. So go ahead and put in the x is minus 1. So we get 1 over minus 1. And the question is, does that equal minus 1 over 6 times negative 1 plus 7? Left side is negative 1. Does it equal the right, the right side, which is negative 1 over minus 6 plus 7, or minus 1 over 1? Yes, minus 1 equals negative 1 over 1 which is minus 1 equals minus 1. So x equals negative 1 is a solution. Then we also want to check x equals 7. And we put that into the original equation again. 1 over x equals x over 6x plus 7. And we go ahead and plug in the 7. Does it equal 7 over 6 times 7 plus 7? Well, let's see, that's 42 plus 7 is 49. So what we really have here is 1 over 7. Does it equal 7 over 49? Well, 7 over 49 is the same as 1 over 7. So yes, that works also. That means our two solutions are x equal negative 1 and x equals 7.